Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to auto-generate an insert record form, using Bootstrap 3 Dynamic Forms Generator. We created an empty page, and added a Bootstrap 3 container in it. Instead of creating the insert record form, manually, and adding the fields in it, one by one, we will use the Dynamic Form Generator. First, let's create a server action. Add a name for your server action. Then, right-click steps. And add a database connection. Add a name for your database connection. And then, set up its options. Enter your connection details, address, database, username, and password. Click the OK button, when you are done. Right-click your database connection step. And under Database Actions, select Database Insert. Add a name for the insert step. And then set up its options. Select the database table, where you'd like to insert data into. And add it, to the selected tables list. Then, select the columns, you'd like to insert data into, and add them. To the selected columns list. We want to insert data into all of the columns of this table. The Bootstrap 3 Dynamic Forms Generator will generate a form input for each of the columns selected here. Click the OK button when you are done. Save your action file. Now, let's generate the insert form. Click Bootstrap 3 Dynamic Form Generator. Select Server Action Input as a field source. Then, select your Insert Record Server Action from the drop-down. And select your form type. We select Vertical Form Layout. Here, you can see all of the form fields that will be generated based on your selected columns in the Insert Record step. You can select any of them. And then, you can edit the selected field's name, and label. Also, you can change the field type. Bootstrap 3 Dynamic Form Generator, is smart enough, and sets the form field type, depending on your database field type, so most of the times you won't need to change this. You can add, delete, and move, fields, inside the form. A submit button is automatically being added to the form, so you don't need to add one later. Click the OK button when you are done. And here is our form, generated in just a few clicks. Now, the only thing left, is to set up the server action executor, and you are done. You already know, how to set up the server action executor, for the insert record, so we won't show this now. Stay tuned for our next tutorials, where you will learn, how to auto-generate an update record form, dynamic select menus, and dynamic checkboxes, and radio button groups.